guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thanks for being here, welcome. Um, it's been a minute. Yeah, it has, it's definitely, well, it's been since before my birthday. I promised birthday vlogs. I didn't do them. Um, I know some of you would be like, girl, we don't care. But some of you may be like, oh yeah, we've missed you. So that'd be nice if you have missed us. Please pop in the comments below if you have missed us. Not so much if you haven't. I don't know if I necessarily need to hear that, but I don't mind your boy. Um, so welcome back. I have been, what have I been doing? I've been quite busy. I mean, July, I went back to work. Um, and then we had my 30th birthday, which I will put in some clips of that here. but they're like all floppy and horrible but we actually paid someone to do the ones at the front So yeah, as you can see, it looked really fun. And you know what? It was so much fun. We actually had the best time. All my friends and family said it was the best party and it was kind of really needed after um, lockdown of like not seeing everyone. And yeah, we just had an amazing time. So today is about my birthday gifts, which was about a month ago. <laughs> I finally get around. I put on my Instagram um, at home underscore at underscore number 19 um if you wanted to see what i got for my birthday presents and everyone i think it was like 99 percent of people said yes um so here they are i mean that was about four weeks ago but we'll just start now so i'm gonna get back into my youtube game um i put on my instagram today about doing a vlog not vlog uh like q a about buying a house because i work in property so I'm going to do that. I've got loads of like exciting things about to start happening. Um, I don't know when, but we've got the wardrobe woman coming around next week to measure up. But I'm not sure when the wardrobes are going to happen. I think that because they're handmade, they're on order or something. Anyway, that should be in like the next like three, four months. Which will probably be in the next video. No, I'm joking. Um, and then we've also, yeah, we've just got lots of like exciting things happening. So... I will bring you along this time if I remember. Anyway, let's start. So, big 3-0. It's an important birthday, isn't it? But I did get exceptionally spoiled. Nothing like, uh, the presents I got, I would just never have imagined that I'd be so lucky to get. So, thank you to all my friends and family. Um, I got amazing balloons, flowers, wonderful cards. I'm a real card person as well. I love anything really sentimental. Um, so yeah, I was just so lucky. And obviously can't show all my gifts because I've been going on and on for ages. So I'm just gonna show you like a few bits and bobs. Um, although I'm not sure I can refer to them as bits and bobs. Anyway, I did get this necklace from my friends as well. This Swarovski necklace. It's very cute. Um, and I wear it all the time. So I'm going to start with um, this one, Cult Beauty. This is from one of my best friends. Um, and inside, I just thought this present was so good because she just, she just knows me so well. Um, this is what it looked like inside. So we've got lots of different brands in there. The Pixie, I really wanted to try. So in here, um, I got this Drunk Elephant, nice to meet you. It's a cleanser and a moisturizer. I've actually used the moisturizer already. Um, and the moisturizer, I have very combination skin. Like I am the epitome of a combination type person. Take that as my personality, so my skin, whatever you wanna do. Um, and the moisturizer was amazing. I only really use Charlotte Tilbury um, Magic Cream, but I ran out of that. So I've been using this. And actually, highly, highly recommend. I haven't used the cleanser yet, uh, so I will give you guys an update on that. Obviously, we got everyone's favourite, 
this in the box. I haven't actually tried this before either, so looking forward to doing that. I need like a beauty day. Um, this is the Pixie Tonic, um, so it's a jasmine smooth and toner. Again, I've read amazing things about this, so very excited to choose this. Um, and then we've got some Vogue Self Tan. We've got a Becca highlighter. If you know me well, you know highlighter is my favourite thing. I'm still not over it. I know lots of people's like new makeup isn't inclusive of a highlighter, but that's not me. Um, I feel like my skin would just look really flat if I didn't have a, a highlighter on. Um, and then we've got some perfume in here. Um, dry shampoo, just like everything you need. Oh, and this. Um, this is the Essip, uh, and it's a hand wash, and obviously right now, perfect. So this I just thought, if anyone's struggling to get a, a present, little glass in like a very me colour. Anyone struggling to buy someone for a present, I was actually blown away by this box. It comes in a lovely little set as well. And it's just perfect. It was a wonderful gift. I'm very grateful, very thankful. Um, and yeah, if you're struggling to get a birthday present or just a present or whatever it is that you're looking for, highly recommend Cult Beauty, just a mixture. And there's like probably some really good top sellers in there as well, best sellers. So then, um, my mum and dad got me this actually. My nan, anyone who knows me, my nan was like my whole world. Um, and unfortunately, we lost her uh, 11 years ago. This was hers, and, and as I said, I love sentimental gifts. This was hers, and I, I even remember it being up in our house. I remember where it was. I remember where it was in her different houses that she had when I was younger. And I was born in Brighton, so my mum and my dad got me, I don't know, the shine, got me this beautiful, that's Brighton Pier, and this was the frame that my nan had. They gave me one of her wonderful, wonderful, it's a drawing, isn't it? It's a painting. Anyway, this meant more than you can imagine, so I was just beside myself when I received that. So thank you so much for that. They then came with these goods. Oh. La la. La la. We'll start with a small one, um, which is equally as good. Just this gorgeous wallet. So it's got a little card area here. Um, and then it's just, you know, for, oh my God, it smells so good for cash and the green, I, my favorite colors, no, no, my favorite color is pink. Oh, sorry. I just nearly said something so out of turn. Probably my second favorite color is green. Um, so we always love to go for green, uh, Tilly and I actually, we all both always wear green because we just think it makes our eyes pop. Um, so my mum and dad got me this, which was gorgeous. But there was a reason as to why. I haven't actually used that yet. And then this one was the second. I need to give it away. basically me as a handbag the little box bag and it comes with this amazing kind of amazing comes with a um, chain so you can wear it an over body bag or um, you can obviously just carry it I really like it with the chain on and to carry it um, so then you just would hold it like this and the probably have it more like that the purse is to go inside because it's obviously very small I don't know if you can see how small it is, but it is, you know, you've got your phone in there, lip gloss and the wallet that they got me. Um, so yeah, so this is beautiful, again in a green, which I love. You can see a bit better there. And it's just, yeah, it's just so, so lovely. So wonderful, wonderful gift. <clears throat> We then got, um, I'll give you a bit of a backstory of this thing because I'm just looking at it here. So I don't know who, if you've seen, but one of my previous videos of Larry, we were speaking about like my love for Sex and the City. Um, and you know, 
I absolutely adore the program. I, I yet to find that many girls who don't love the per perfume program, to be honest. Um, but I absolutely love it. So Larry's gifts were that you opened like one by one and then there was like a crescendo. So bearing in mind, keep that sentimental value of how much I love Sex and the City. I've seen all the episodes seven billion times. I've seen the movie seven billion times. Okay, the second one isn't everyone's favorite, but still I've watched it a million times. <laughs> so this is my first gift. This is a mug. Um, and it's got a quote in here that says, I like my money right where I can see it, hanging in my closet, quoted by Carrie Bradshaw. And then on the back, it says, to a very special person on a very special day, happy 30th birthday, Sophie. We love you. <clears throat> this was number one. Then, oh, I don't think I opened it in this order, but this was, I opened it the other one first. But anyway, then there was this framed picture and it said, maybe some women are meant to be tamed. Maybe they just, just need to run free till they find someone just as wild to run with them. Harry Bradshaw quote. This is actually my favourite one. And Larry did say that when we've broken up on Instagram and stuff before, I've like posted this. <laughs> so he found this one. <clears throat> and then I cried when I opened these because I've just dreamt of having these my entire Harry Bradshaw existence. Manolo Blonnet. But he didn't put them in the box, he was very sneaky. He put them in like this pink um, box. So as I opened them, I just saw this dust bag with the Manolo on. I mean, I said, could you imagine if it wasn't the ones I wanted? <laughs> I started crying before I even opened them. I have wore them once, but I didn't really let anyone go near me. But the souls obviously aren't as happy as they once were. I mean, have you ever seen a shoe so gorgeous because I have not I'll just sit and wait so these are my wedding shoes I know I'm aware that I'm not engaged but they're my something blue and Carrie married big in them oh my mum was even like I didn't realize Larry is so sentimental I was like I know he is how gorgeous are they? Like, oh. honestly, I could sit here and stare at them all day long, but I won't because we need to carry on with the video. <clears throat> so yeah, people kept saying to me on the lead up to my birthday, like, what do you think you're gonna get? You must have an idea. Honestly, oh, sorry, hold on. I had no idea what I was getting for my birthday. I, like, I just, I, I had no idea, like none. I couldn't, I, I said to Larry, just before it, someone could, pick, could literally say, I'll give you a million pounds if you guess a present. I would never have guessed these presents, ever. I just couldn't believe how lucky I was. So then, on to the final. <clears throat> I'm not gonna say that much, I'm just gonna show you this box. Now, my sister gave me this. Um, and when they wrapped it and gave it to me, it was wrapped a few times and they were like, open it really carefully. So, to be honest, I thought it was glass at that point. Um, I opened it and then each layer of wrapping, there was a picture of the three of us and they drew it like a lovely message and things. So again, sentimental, which I obviously love. And then I got to this book. So I had no idea what I was about to open. None whatsoever. This is what I saw. I don't know if you can see that. That, as I opened the box. Again, I cried when I opened this. So this is there. Ooh. Then I had a letter which was this. Oh God, I'm getting stuff everywhere and Larry literally just hoovered. Then the bag, which was this. I mean, that bag in itself, hello. Like every woman needs a red box, don't they? Come on, look at that. Just Cartier, classic. Then the box was wrapped in this. I keep everything, you know, don't make me say the word again. And then we had this. Oh, didn't flap down. <laughs> I 
and it's a Cartier leather ring. I don't know if you can see because the light comes back. Cartier leather ring engraved that says the power of three. And that is F3. So I actually took it off obviously to film this video and I felt so weird about it on. But this dressing, this packaging. Sorry, what? Oh, it was just amazing. Anyway, so cried obviously when I opened that. So ultimately I had a very emotional but a very incredible, wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we will be actually coming to you with videos. I told Larry I'm back in my YouTube game. He was like, you can't really like just drop in, drop out. But to be honest, <clears throat> obviously, like I said, I've been busy. But also, I kind of stopped watching YouTube. And I think when I stopped watching YouTube, I kind of think, oh, you know, I forget about it. Um, but yeah, we'll be back in a video. Stay tuned and we'll see you soon. Bye, guys.